What is up fellow artists? Today I'm going to teach you how to use one of the most powerful and sometimes one of the most confusing tools that ZBrush has to offer, and that is the transpose tool. So for those of you that are familiar with 3D, you have your 3D move tool. ZBrush and Blender pretty much call it the 3D gizmo. In 3D, it's basically just a series of rings that control your rotation with arrows that you can pull and push your object in any direction on the X, Y, or Z axis. The transpose tool is basically just a modified version of that. So when you open up ZBrush, for our purposes today, click on your light box and we're gonna open up the demo soldier. Once you have your demo soldier open, if you click on subtool over here, you see that you have all these subtools lined up. But if I use my transpose tool right now, it's gonna totally screw up my model. There's no way that I can use this. We're gonna combine everything and I'll show you what to do from there. Go over to subtool, click on that menu and bring it down. Go down to merge and select merge visible. On our tool palette here, we have demo soldier with a number 11 next to it. That means that's our scene with 11 subtools in it. The one right above that, and that's all of our tools merged together. So click on that. And you see now under subtool, you've changed scenes to just this one subtool with everything merged together. So to activate the transpose tool, all you have to do is go into move, scale, or rotate. And right next to rotate is this gizmo 3D button. So if you turn that off, it automatically turns on the transpose tool. It's just your X, Y, and Z axes. If you click and drag anywhere on your model, it creates these three circles. There's one in the top, one in the middle, one on the bottom. Each circle has an outer circle and an inner circle. Each of these three rings controls an axis. The top one manipulates just the Y axis. The center one controls the X axis. And the bottom one just controls the Z axis. So we have to mask part of the mesh, hold control, click and drag outside of your object. And now if you hold control and click, it'll select the opposite of what you had masked. Select rotate mode, click right from the center and drag out past the fingertips. Wherever this bottom ring or where you clicked and dragged from, that's gonna act as the pivot center. Now I can rotate his arms without moving the rest of his body. Mask off a certain area that you want to manipulate. Hold control and click on the unmasked part of your mesh and it will soften the edge of your mask. I want the base pivot right on that elbow with these points lined up. If you're inside view and you draw along your object here, if you look back at the front view, your transpose tool is not lined up correctly. Go into the front view and click right on the elbow, drag it out past the fingertips like that. Now go to side view in rotate mode. You can click and drag and it creates a very smooth bend at the elbow there. You're gonna have to do a little bit of cleanup, of course. You can hit Q to go back into draw mode and kind of smooth some of this out, get it back to normal. Basically spot fix things all the time on the fly. Just by masking and clicking and dragging, you can pretty quickly create some interesting shapes and poses with your characters. So all you have to remember to do is select move, scale, or rotate mode, turn off your 3D gizmo, select the area that you wanna manipulate, hold control, click, and it will select the opposite. Click where you want your pivot point to be and drag out the last circle beyond the point where you can see it lined up in a straight line with the arm or the leg or whatever you're trying to bend. Go to the side view or the front view, depending on which direction you wanna move it. Click that bottom circle and it will rotate your object up in a nice smooth arc. That's all I got time for today, guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future tutorials. If you're new to 3D and you're having a difficult time getting started in ZBrush, go back and watch my tutorial series on how to get started on ZBrush. You can go onto Pixelogic's website and download a trial of 2018 for free and start sculpting today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.